Hello! Today I'm going to teach you all about using labels in Gmail. So if you're used to mail clients like Outlook, you're probably used to putting messages into folders. The limitation of folders is that you can only add a message to a single folder. With labels, on the other hand, you can add multiple labels to a single message to help you track everywhere it might be relevant. For instance, this message here applies to both my marketing messages and to my video production messages, so I've applied both labels to it. So there are lots of ways to add labels to a message, including filters, which can do so automatically, but we'll cover filters in another video. One easy way to add a label manually to a message is just to click on the label in the left-hand menu and then drag it over to the email you want it applied to. You can also open up a message, click on the Labels button, and then select the labels you want to apply. You can also select a number of messages in your inbox and then apply a label or labels to all of those messages at once. If you're a Google Plus user, messages from your circles will automatically be labeled in your inbox. I'll also show you how to turn that off if it's not an option you're interested in. That's about it for adding labels, but if you want to view all of your messages with a given label, you can just click on the label in the left-hand side, and you'll be taken to a view of all of those messages. You can also nest labels underneath each other. So here you can see one label with a number of nested labels underneath it here. So now let's look at managing labels. To do so, just click on the More button here, and then you can access the Manage Labels page here. Or you can go up to your Settings gear, click Settings, and then navigate to the Labels tab. From here you can decide whether to show or hide individual labels. You can also create new labels and organize them. So if I don't want my circles to show, I click on Hide. And then if you look at your labels list, you'll see that the circles have now been removed from the list. Now if I take a standard label, I can choose if I want to show or hide it in the label list and in the message list. And you can also remove the label if you want. So let's imagine that I want to create a new label for comments, which I'm going to nest under my notifications label. So I go to Create New Label, call it Comments, then select the Nest Label Under button and choose the Notifications label from the drop-down menu. Next. What happens if I want to put this label here under an existing label? All I have to do is go to Actions, Edit, and then choose to nest the label under another one. There are also the base system labels up here that you can choose to hide or show, but I mostly prefer to leave them as they are. However, if you use the Archive feature a lot, you may want to show all mail so you can easily access your archive. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, just let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.